Good morning. I would like to welcome you to our morning devotion. On this Monday morning, we're going to discuss the letter J of the alphabets of character, and that is joy or joyfulness. I will be reading from the book of Psalm, chapter 16, verse 11, and it says here, You make known to me the path of life in your presence, there is fullness of joy and at your right hand there are pleasures forevermore praise god many people make happiness a goal and the truth is the more we make happiness our goal the more we want to become happy in our lives in our families and in our security towards the future the more miserable we become because happiness changes and is conditioned on the kind of situation that we have the things that are happening around us and when the things changes our happiness changes with it that is the difference between happiness and joy I will be showing you this uh, morning the three things that uh, joy is anchored upon uh, and I want us to understand that uh, this joy is a gift of the Holy Spirit of God to each and every one of us and that is as it says here in the book of Psalms there is a path for our lives towards a, a life that is full of joy as Jesus said in John chapter 10 verse 10 that I am come that you may have life and life that is of abundance or a life that is full of joy that is what God wants us to understand but there is that path that we have to understand the path that leads to a life that is filled with joy number one joy is constant it is never uh, affected by what is happening in our lives why because it is based on our relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ as soon as a person becomes a Christian or had a relationship with the Lord Jesus then that is the beginning of joy number one joy begins as we come to know the Lord Jesus Christ we are alienated with that word joy before we came to know the Lord what we know about is happiness and mostly happiness is based on one's status in life but when we came to know the Lord Jesus then joy becomes a new beginning in our relationship that whatever it is that happens in our lives despite this pandemic despite the loss of jobs the loss of health and the loss of security that inner joy that is anchored on our relationship with Christ never changes it is constant number one joy it is, is dependent on our relationship with the Lord Jesus number two joy grows as we grow deeper in our relationship with the lord our relationship with god is based on our spiritual discipline as we read the word of god as we memorize these verses as we pray to the lord and entrust every cares and troubles towards him we grow deeper in our relationship with god and our experience that god is true to his words that whatever it is that God says in his words he will fulfill and whatever it is that our hearts cry to the Lord he hears and he will answer them so joy is not only anchored on our relationship but it grows deeper it grows bigger as we continue on with our relationship with God that is why Bible reading is so important our prayer life is so important towards the growth 
of our joy. So for us to not be affected by what is happening outside of our own lives, then we have to give emphasis on that spiritual discipline to have that deeper growing relationship with God. And number three, joy becomes fulfilled as we place all of our trust towards our life, our family, and our future to the Lord. When the Apostle Paul said in Philippians chapter 4 verse 4 that he is talking to these Christians in Philippi to rejoice in the Lord always. And again, he says, rejoice. Paul was actually behind bars and he was in his last imprisonment in Rome and after a few uh, weeks, he will be beheaded by the Emperor Nero. He knows the end of his life is near. He knows that he is going to face death. But despite that, he is telling these Christians, rejoice. Because joy is unaffected at this point. Joy is already complete. Jesus said in the book of John, chapter 16, verse 33, that he says these words of him, of his, to us, that our joy may be full, that we will not experience the burden over these problems that we are facing. There is a point of faith, that our faith is never affected anymore by fear, by worry, but it is affected by God's promises and our trusting in Him. I would like to challenge everybody. Let us receive that joy. Rejoice in the Lord. Whatever it is that's happening in our lives right now, we can find that fullness of joy, a path that leads to a fullness of joy. Be joyful. Rejoice. God bless you.